Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Wendy. I'm happy you've joined me for today's Children's Focus. Happy Sunday, and I'm glad that you joined us. First things first, I want you to know that your Sunday school teachers and I, we miss you. We miss you tons, and we can hardly wait to see you again. Um, until then, this is how we're going to do our Children's Focus each week, and we're going to keep doing our live stream services. So just keep watching and remember how much we miss and love you all. Now, what I did want to talk to you about today was I wanted to talk to you about our church website. So I'm sure you guys went on to the website and that's how you found this video. Um, that's how you find our live stream church service. But on the front page of our church website, we put up a new picture. And so if you haven't seen it yet, I want you after this video to go take a look. But it is a picture of our whole church family. Our church family is a group sitting in the pews and we're all looking up at the balcony where Mr. Rossiter was with his camera. And he took a really cool picture of our church family. And we're all looking up and we're all waving. And right beside the picture, it says something kind of funny. It says, still one body, even six feet apart. Now what could that mean, still one body? Hmm. I think the Bible said something about this in 1 Corinthians talk in there about how we are all different parts of the body of Christ of his church um, just like our bodies have different parts right we have a brain we have eyes we have lips we have our hands we've got our knees and our feet we've got all sorts of different parts we've got hearts and so in the Bible it talks about how we all need each other to be the body of Christ just like our bodies need all its different parts to get our tasks done. So what kind of work do you think are the tasks that we would want to do uh, for Jesus, being the body of Christ, the body of Jesus? Hmm. I think that kind of work would be loving each other, taking care of each other, forgiving one another, right? and taking care of God's creatures, taking care of his earth, right? So this is important work that Jesus has given us to do. And we need each other to do that because we all have different gifts. Some people in our church family are good at preaching. Some people are good at singing. Some people are good at working with children. Some people are good at videotaping. Some people are good at making us laugh, right? Lots of the children in our church family who are very important parts of the body of Christ, they warm our hearts and they make me laugh. They show us and teach us with how forgiving and loving they are. Um, so you guys are all really important parts of the body of Christ too, to help us get the work done that Jesus has given us to do. Now the second part of what, what that said beside the picture was even six feet apart. Have you guys been hearing that a lot lately? So now with this sickness that's going around, we have to be careful and part of taking care of each other is being careful and trying not to get each other sick. So we need to stay six feet or two meters apart from people if we don't live with them, right? And so I thought it was just important to remind everybody that even though we have to be distanced apart, physically distanced apart, um, we are still one body and we are still doing the work of Christ and we still need each other to do that. So we don't have to be all in one room and all nice and tucked in close together, even though that is really nice when we'll get to do that again. But until then, we can still do the work um, as the body of Christ and we're still one body working together to do his work. And so we need to remember that and take heart in that, right? So one thing I thought we could maybe do to remind us of that is a little art project. Um, so here I have drawn a picture. This is my rendition of St. Augustine's Anglican Church. And so if you take a look there, you can see there's our front doors and there we've got our tower, right? That has our cross on top and we've got the hall and here we've got a bell tower. And that's where the bells are that we ring. Yeah. So this is the church, but like I said a few weeks ago, the church isn't a building, right? That's where we all gather. That's where the church gathers, right? And it's a building. But what the important part of the church 
with the people, right? And there's big people and there's little people and they all are important pieces in the body of Christ. And we are all one body and we need each other to work. So I thought it would be kind of cool to make a picture. So if you wanna do the actual church building or if you would like to draw, you don't have to draw these little simple faces. If you wanna draw um, our church family, you can do that. And then we can make it into a puzzle and then when we take it apart and put it back together, we can remember that we need each other and we need to be together, even if it's two meters apart, right? We need each other and we need each other's gifts and we need to lean on each other to do the work of Christ and be the body of Christ. So once you're done your picture, you can cut it into pieces. Now I wouldn't cut it into tiny pieces because then that's just gonna be way too difficult to put back together. So maybe pieces like this. And I'm gonna cut another one here. So you can do, I don't know, it depends, but you can do, I would do maybe eight, 12 pieces, depending how you'd like to do it. It's up to you. So here I'm cutting. And you can do really funky shapes. You can do it however you like. And then, when you're done that, you can try and put your puzzle back together. So see, I have done lots of little pieces and it could be tricky. I don't know if you wanna do two sides. It might be easier just to do one side. It's up to you, but if you wanna challenge, you could do two sides and do one the church building and one the church people. So that's all you need is you need some paper and some crayons or markers and you can make yourself a puzzle to remind you that we are the body of Christ and we all need each other. All right, so let's pray before we are done for today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for our church family and for the, the body of Christ. We thank you that we can lean on each other and that we don't have to do all the work alone. That um, we are called to do your work together and work together as our body works together. We just thank you for Jesus and all that he's done for us, Lord. And it's through Jesus we pray. And we all say, Amen. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Love you guys.